All right, everybody, welcome back to Digital Marketers Social Media Certification. And in this step, we're going to be going through the social success cycle. And what most people don't understand is that there are actually multiple parts to social media. You know, most companies are going to be maybe doing one or two or maybe three of these different things, but very rarely do I find companies that are doing all four of these things well. So the social success cycle starts in the upper right hand corner with social listening. Now social listening is defined as monitoring and responding to customer service and reputation management issues on the social web. So this is you know, that, the, the whole idea that there are conversations going on on the web about you, about your brands, about the major people involved in your, in your company, and that your company needs to be there listening, okay? And this is really the first step in getting involved in social media. And all of lesson two is going to be devoted to social listening, all right? Step two is social influencing. And social influencing is defined as establishing authority on the social web, often through the distribution and sharing of valuable content. All right, so this is another thing that most companies don't realize that they're doing, but they are actually social influencing. They are spreading content that is created either by them or by uh, uh, other folks. Uh, around the social web. And this is defined as social influencing. And lesson three is going to be devoted entirely to the idea of social influencing. The third step is social networking. All right. Now, social networking is the finding and associating with authoritative and influential individuals and brands on the social web. All right. So, this is about finding those colleagues those people that would like to do uh, joint ventures and partnerships with you, um, and using the web as a networking tool, using the social web as a networking tool. And then in, in, lastly, and this is the step that a lot of companies skip straight to. They stop, they don't listen, they don't uh, influence, they don't network. Instead, they go straight to social selling. And while social selling is absolutely possible on the social web, it has to be done properly and it has to be done in conjunction with the other three steps that we've talked about here in the social success cycle. But social selling is about generating leads and sales from the social web. And is it possible to actually see direct leads and sales from your social media activity? Absolutely. And like I said, in lesson uh, five, we are going to take a deep, deep dive on how to properly sell on the social web. All right, so that's the social success cycle. And in the next step, we are going to be talking about the goals that you might have for your social media marketing campaigns. We'll see you in the next video.